Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about Nest.js microservices. So if you are already familiar with my channel, my channel is full of Nest.js content and I also have covered Nest.js microservices. So microservices is, is always really a hot topic in the IT market, uh, specifically for backend developers who are building the services, building the services where uh, either another service can communicate or a UI interface or a mobile device, mobile client can communicate, right? So Nest.js is like a backend framework built on top of Express, which is allowing you to create REST or GraphQL based interface. It also provides you the interface in which you can create microservices native to Nest.js. I mean, microservices is a, is a global concept. Any service which is following the 12 factor principles can be called a microservices, which is decoupled, which is not tightly coupled and which is following a domain driven stuff, domain driven uh, design and uh, dealing with a one particular entity domain. So it, it doesn't need to talk to another services. It's totally decoupled. It should be, it should be dealing with the event driven architecture where it deals with other services through the event driven, uh, event driven technologies like uh, either messaging queues, uh, rabbit MQs or SQS, SNS and all these different stuff. But it has it has totally loose coupling. So it doesn't impact anything else. If it is down, then it is not impacting any other uh, system. OK, so let's say if you are building this dashboard, right, it has uh, different parts like contacts can be another service where you are managing the contact and contact can be a primary contact, secondary contact, then the contact linking, all these can be like three or four entities. They can all be, will be divided, can be divided into a separate microservice. Similarly, the recent orders where you can track the, track the orders, you can check the order history, you can check the, the completed order, what is the current order, order detail, order history, all these APIs can be residing inside the re order microservice. Okay. Then another can be a dashboard, which is used for visualizing and giving you the overall picture of all data, right? So it's like an aggregation service you have. All these services can be designed in just a monolithic app. Single process, router, controller. You can even design a single Nest.js Express HTTP based service. Okay. You expose all the REST interface, uh, define the Nest.js router controller and all these uh, services like order service start dealing with order entities, contact service dealing with the contact entities. That's fine. But if anything goes down with the service and this service is being consumed by thousand different clients, all will be impacted. Right. And they are tightly coupled because uh, all you might be using a single database for managing the contact orders, analytics and image service. Better how we can do it. We can divide a single process. OK, this is the you can say this is the front end interface gateway interface, it can be a single service. And now this gateway is delegating the request to a specific service. And all these are single independent loosely coupled processes. Single process order service is it's not impacting anything on the analytics. Image services, if it is down, it is not impacting order contact or analytics service, right? So this concept already exists. What Nest.js is doing, Nest.js is providing a unified interface of creating a microservices which provide a different transport. Okay. So motivation is a scalable, uh, defined, redefined architecture of building the microservices. It enhanced the code reuses and all it, you can do a testing and all these concepts of uh, nest. Yes. Uh, simple service design are incorporated in nest. Yes. Microservices. Nest. Yes. Microservices is just a module in the nest. Yes. Ecosystem. Okay. This is how we create a controller. Pets and pest pets is HTTP get and it is calling pet service dot get all pets, right? So this service pet service, you can define the controller in one service. Okay, this is the pets controller, contact controller, uh, image controller, analytics controller. Now these controllers will talk to the respective service and these service can be a independent microservices, which this gateway service, let's call this can be a gateway service where you are defining only the controllers. A routers that's it now when it comes to defining these services what these services are pet service can be an independent uh, nest yes microservice running somewhere and you can talk to that microservice through the tcp redis kafka rabbit mq and all okay so this is how you will create a client proxy 
so the, let's say this is the gateway service okay in the gateway service you will create a client proxy this client proxy is nothing but a connector i will use some slides to explain so this is what i'm talking about this is this will be using client proxy and this client proxy can talk to any other service so here you have a controller and router that's it so i wrote http get users let's say right this is the router i have created now i will also create a service here local service which is a user service which will have nothing but a client proxy it will use client prop because there is a unified or defined way of calling an external nestis microservice this client proxy will talk to this directly now it can be using tcp so i will try to put it uh, like this so this is this controller is going to access user service right and this user service already has the client proxy interface this is the client this is like let's say this is user service and it is using this client proxy and using client proxy dot send you will send a call to this auth service similarly you will create another proxy let's say i am creating a cart proxy that will also use this client proxy this is cart right so this is cart service and it is using this cart proxy right here also you will be using client proxy to communicate so that is just a, a way which is designed by nest js to talk to these services now this can be based on tcp this can be based on redis or any any different modes you can communicate to these services okay so this is how all these things are connected so await client dot send hello here you are sending the command to the client so there is a client proxy some service external service and this is how you are communicating to that service and how in what all different ways we can communicate all different ways you can also use a grpc protocol grpc kafka basic tcp redis mqtt nets all these uh, different ways of communications are available so if you want to do a synchronous call where you where you want to response back from the client or from the other service you can use grpc and basic tcp but when you are sending a event where you don't need to worry about okay when i send a event to the second service now second service has to deal with that then you can use these message brokers means you send the events now the target service will take care of that in these two different modes you need response back from the target service grpc and basic tcp so this is tight coupling right direct tcp communications where service a is directly coupled with the service b because service b needs to respond back so that service a can respond to the client right but similarly you can have a thousands of different of different type of request uh, different type of services which are synchronous or asynchronous asynchronous are message broker these are loosely coupled you send a event to the target nest js service and nest js service will do its task okay because you send something to the target service now target service is responsible for fulfilling that it doesn't need to acknowledge the uh, source service that i have done that task because it's synchronous and it is message broker based communication so for demos my whole channel is full of uh, nest js microservices i will put the link how you can build this uh, nest js microservices using nest js where you can use a uh, redis kafka rabbitmq grpc i already have a whole playlist which talks about nest js microservices and it's really nice like when you design your systems with the nest js microservices you can just create a simple controller now you can also use grpc and these are grpc client services these are using grpc right so you can you can actually use all these different protocols also like instead of tcp here i will create a grpc client proxy which will talk to the auth service and it will be a grpc call and the communication between this will be happening through the 
डिफाइंड प्रोटोकॉल जी आर पी सी इफ इट इज टी सी पी देन इट विल बी कॉलिंग थ्रू द टी सी पी ट्रांसपोर्ट और इट कैन बी सिंपल एच टी टी पी वेर यू हैव इंडिपेंडेंट सर्विस एंड यू आर मेकिंग एस सिंक्रोनाइज एच टी टी पी कॉल इन दैट केस यू डोंट नीड ए क्लाइंट प्रोक्सी यू आर मेकिंग एक्सियोज कॉल टू द टारगेट सर्विस बट दैट इज द एडवांटेज यू कैन यूज अ टी सी पी जी आर पी सी काफ कार एबिट एम क्यू डिफरेंट मैसेज ब्रॉकर्स एंड ऑल एंड यू कैन मेक योर आर्टिटेक्चर आर्टिटेक्चर Publish a message and I can use a rabbit MQ. What I will do is for this particular controller method, I will be using let's say uh, here I will design that. Let's say I have a cart service, so I will create a cart client proxy. Okay, now there are there is a defined syntax which you need to write. Cart client proxy will talk to, so the controller will call this. cart service which is designed in this uh, gateway service and this cart client proxy will communicate to, to to the cart service and this whole communication will happen through either rabbit mq kafka or whatever the message broker you have defined so this is all about nesjs microservice for exploring more uh, stay tuned and i will add a playlist how you can design a scalable microservice based architecture using nest js microservices one set of microservices where you are just using nestjs independently here you can define a gateway and then gateway is may maybe making these http calls directly but if you want to use the native nestjs microservices then you can design it something like this these can be like okay this message this service is sending sns or rabbit mq events and then this is a subscriber service so let's say this is a direct http call tightly coupled right this is also tightly coupled and here what i'm doing i'm using rabbit mq so i will publish a message to rabbit mq and this is a consumer consumer will drain the messages from the target service so this is a rabbit mq both are subscribing to the rabbit mq to publish the message and this is to read the message so this is the typical design if you don't want to use nest js and all then you you can be using mq sns sqs all these different modes are available where one service because this is a asynchronous communication you send a message now target service will read that message and will act on based on the event you have sent to this this is asynchronous communication this is synchronous communication where you need reply back from the target service this is the typical way of uh, designing here it can be a simple let's say graph ql gateway or all these kind of services you design or it can be simple http gateway you are just aggregating the data from different http based services but yeah if you want to explore more Uh, i will just add a description and you can explore more on that